Kanahanasakuya Haim Kanahanasakuya Haim is the goddess of Mount Fuji and all volcanoes in Japanese mythology, she is also the blossom princess and symbol of delicate earthly life. She is often considered an avatar of Japanese life, especially since her symbol is the Sakura, cherry blossom. Shinto shrines have been built on Mount Fuji for Sakuya Haim, collectively known as the Asama or Sengen shrines. It is believed that she will keep Mount Fuji from erupting, but shrines to her at Kirishima have been repeatedly destroyed by volcanic eruptions. She is also known for having torn up the Yatsugataki Mountains because they were higher than Fujiyama. Kanahana Sakuya Haim or Kanahana no Sakuya Haim, cherry, tree blossoming princess, princess, or lady of high birth, explains Haim, her name also appears in a shorter form as Sakuya Haim, and she is also called Sengen. Sakuya Haim met Nainagi on the seashore, and they fell in love. Nainagi asked Ohoya Matsumi, the father of Sakuya Haim, for her hand in marriage. Aoyama proposed to his older daughter, Iwanaga Haim, instead, but Nainagi had his heart set on Sakuya Haim. Aoyama reluctantly agreed, and Nainagi and Konohana married. Because Nainagi refused Iwanaga, the rock princess, Human lives are said to be short and fleeting, like Sakura blossoms, instead of enduring and long-lasting, like stones. Sakuya Haim became pregnant in just one night, causing suspicion in Nainagi. He wondered if this was the child of another kami. Sakuya Haim was enraged at Nainagi's accusation and entered a doorless hut, which she then set fire to, declaring that the child would not be hurt if it were truly the offspring of Nainagi. Inside the hut, Konohana had three sons, Hadri, Hasaseri, and Huri. According to a legend from the 11th century, a small village in Suruga province named Kamlide was struck by a smallpox epidemic. In the village, there lived a young boy named Yosoji and his mother, who was infected by the disease. To cure his mother, Yosoji went to a fortune teller. The fortune teller told him to give his mother water from a small stream near Mount Fuji. The next day, Yosoji decided to go to the river but then stumbled upon three paths. Not knowing which one to take, a young girl in white came towards Yosoji from the forest and guided him to the stream. Yosoji scooped up water from the stream and gave it to his mother to drink. Days later, Yosoji went back to the section where the three paths meet, where he saw the girl in white again. She told him to come back in three days, she will meet him then and it will take five trips to treat the villagers. Five trips later, Yosoji's mother was healed, as were many other villagers. The villagers thanked him, but he knew that he owed it all to the girl in white. So he went back to the stream to give thanks to the women in white. However, he found that the stream was completely dried up and the girl was nowhere to be seen, so Yosoji prayed that the girl would reveal herself and thank her for her actions. The girl appeared before him, and Yosoji said that he wished to tell her how deeply grateful he was to her, and he wished to know who she was so he could tell the villagers who to thank. The woman in white said who she was was not important and said farewell to Yosoji. She then swung a branch of camellia over her head, and a cloud from Mount Fuji came down and picked her up. That is when Yosoji realized the woman was none other than the goddess of Mount Fuji.